couple of weeks back, we had an excellent service at my church of All Saints and Martyrs for people who'd experienced bereavement throughout the year, where they could all come together and light a candle and receive a flower for their loved ones. And it was where ordinary people from all over the estate of Langley came together to, to grieve. And to me, it said everything about what religion should be. And it was at that point I thought, well, I'll, I'll put this in my diary, and at the same time I'll, I'll counter that with the difference between the complete secularity of the council chamber and the fact that it is so non-conducive to spirituality. But surely, before a council meeting that can be quite a full and frank exchange of views, a moment of quiet contemplation is not a bad thing, is it? I think you would be absolutely right if that were true. But in fact it's not so. It's, a, it's topside a minute or two minutes, whereby the chaplain says a, f- a couple of prayers, asking for blessings on the work of the council and the deliberations of the councillors. And it, it isn't actually a time for meditation. People don't like it when you change tradition, do they? They like things to be the way they've always been. Well, if that were the case, I'd have had another 59 councillors on the phone in my ear, but I haven't. Are you a religious man yourself, councillor? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a member of the Church of England. I mean, that's, it was from that uh, service I went to at All Saints that, that uh, gave me the uh, reason to put it in my diary. I'm trained theologically. I think probably if I hadn't been, I might have been more inclined to just go along with it. But I've actually given it some deep thought and I'm doing it from a spiritual point of view, not from an atheistic point of view. But there will be, for those that want it, an opportunity to pray within the council chamber or, within, or before a council meeting. If, if that request is put, I'm sure things will be organised. I have no problem with that whatsoever.